Hello. Hello, everyone. How is it going? This is the Poke Technician here again, bringing you another battle in the uh, DLC Draft League Challenge. I am the coach of the Seattle Marines, and we are playing against uh, Jonathan Birch, aka Mr. Fish, aka Monsieur Lafiche. And we are going to be getting right into this battle. Um, so if you guys don't know, Draft League is a um, is a format where you draft a team of Pokemon, usually about 11 or 12. And you use those Pokemon to counter team the opposing uh, team, basically. So you have a lot of prep involved. You can see what your opponent has the option to use. Here I've decided to bring um, a Mew. It's a Dragon Dance Mew with a uh, Drain Punch. Psychic Fangs and Roost holding the Lumberry to try and prevent people from getting some, a burn on me or a paralysis per se. Also synchronized work so that I can um, switch that status condition back over to the opponent and then heal it myself so that's really nice. We've got Rotom Mo which I picked up this week. I dropped Braviary for it. It's holding the Lumberry, it's got, or sorry the Chesto Berry. It's got Rest, um, Defog, Leaf Storm, and Volt Switch. The Terrakion is a Focus Sash, Focus Sash set, max speed and uh, max attack, um, Jolly Nature. It is running Quick Attack, Earthquake, uh, I want to say Rock Slide and Close Combat, I'm pretty sure. We are bringing the Rapid Ash with Power Herb this time, I'm hoping to get that Solar Blade off on the opposing Seismitoad. He is packing Rain this week, so that is scary for sure. But we did bring some counters for this, honestly. Hydreigon with the Assault Vest should be nice here. Whew. I anticipate him to want to lead Pelipper, but to some degree. Um, we could see the Pharaoh Thorn, probably. Could see the Seismitoad. Whew. I almost just want to lead with the Mimikyu, which is a Will-O-Wisp, Play Rough, um, Wood Hammer, and Destiny Bond set. Um, Modem Row is also a really good option here. I am packing the Defog on Rotom. I think that's what I'm going to lead with, is just the Rotom Mo. Really does seem like the best option here. Um, yeah, we'll see if he wants to go with Pelipper here, or... Or maybe the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh is kind of a big deal, because if I end up Volt Switching, which I'm going to have to do, then he can get his um, Hazards up, his Stealth Rocks up. Uh, good luck to you, man. I'm uh, really hoping for a win on my part, but either way, let's just make it a good battle. So he's going to lead with the Lobster. Okay. So this is an okay position for us, actually. I was super worried about this Crawdon, because... Hits my team pretty much neutrally or super effectively. I don't have much to resist it. Here I will definitely be able to outspeed though. I think that Volt Switch is probably the play. Um, because there's not much that he can do if he does decide to come in with his Seismitoad. Because I am packing the Leaf Storm. He might have the... Uh, Rindo Berry, I believe, is the berry that reduces grass damage, but even so, that should be doing a heck of a ton of damage, and I need the chip, so here I'm just going to go for the Volt Switch. He withdraws, goes out into the Seismitoad, I'm assuming. No, he goes Goo Girl. Okay. So this will take this, no problem. And I am interested to see what kind of set he's packing, if he's like the typical Assault Vest, or maybe a Choice Scarf or a Choice Specs. Here, Mimikyu should be able to come in pretty freely. Um, I guess Mew is an option too. Hydreigon, also a pretty solid option, but I really don't want to... Ah. I'm so worried about missing here, but... Anyhow, I think I will go out into the Mimikyu. Uh, it can deal fairly well with most of his mons. I would like to try and click Will-O-Wisp this turn if I do bring Mimikyu in to... Um, to hit the incoming Ferrothorn potentially. Hydreigon also is an option, but I'm very, very wary of that Scarf set. I think I'm going to go Mimikyu here. This is kind of one of the main reasons I brought Mimikyu, is this and the um, Crawdaunt. 
He has the leftovers. We do see the leftovers here. Okay, that doesn't quite get him back to full, but I'm not going to be able to knock him, knock him out with one hit here for sure. Um, I do see some value in going for a Will-O-Wisp here. At the same time, I think he might just want to break my disguise. Because <laughs> why not? Draco um, with High Dragon should do a good amount, but it's not going to be able to be the end-all be-all for Gudra with the leftovers. I am just going to click the play rough here, I think. If he goes out into Pharaoh, I should be able to pretty freely go into either the Rotom or the Rapidash. Yeah, here I'm just going to click the play rough. I really need this damage off. We miss our play rough. He is like notorious for this. He is notorious for opponents missing play roughs. Anyhow, here I'm going to, um, I'm tempted to click the, the Will-O-Wisp here. Hmm. Of course, this would happen. Hmm, so here, I think I will just click the Will-O-Wisp. We do connect on our Will-O-Wisp. I'm hoping he's um, to some degree physical. I, I Probably not. Most are running special. He goes Acid Armor again. Okay. I'm definitely worried about this. He should be able to... Oh, okay. Weird. All right. So here... I'm quite tempted to hit the play rough, of course. Hold on a second, do I have Stone Edge or Rock Slide? I have Rock Slide, okay. So yeah, here I am just gonna click the Play Rough, I think. Please do not miss another Play Rough. This shouldn't do that much, honestly, but I really need the damage off right now. He is gonna go for the Sludge Bomb, obviously that's gonna connect. He does snag the Poison, which stinks. Am I worried about this right now? Definitely. Um, at the same time, I do think there is potential for Mew to still come in and do something. Alright, so he is going for Sludge Bombs right now. I think I will just keep on play roughing. He doesn't have any uh, recovery moves really. This Sludge Bomb will take me out, which is annoying. Um, but I do have a lot of what I need otherwise on my team. I think the combination of uh, Hydreigon, Quick Attack, Terrakion, uh, Rotom, Gra or Rotom Mo, and potentially, um, yeah, I don't know about Rapidash, probably not so much, but I think I do have the tools that I need still to take him out. So I'm going to go for the play rough here. I mean, maybe I can score a crit, that would be awesome. At least we connect, that's what really matters here. And he, oh, what does that do? That drops his attack, okay, no problem. Running the acid armor, I'm assuming it's rest hydration here. Uh, but for him to get the rest, he will need uh, to go out and do his Pelipper. Anywho, he goes for the iron defense. I am seeing the possibility of a sludge bomb here for sure. Could just go for the rest as well, but I'm going to go for the play rough. This will not take him out, I'm pretty sure. Oh man, a crit would have been so nice there. He does go for the rest. Okay, so he is the rest hydration set. Anyhow, that's annoying for sure. But this does give us an opportunity to uh, go out into our Mew. Oh, scary, scary stuff here, guys. Okay. So here, I think, we do need to go out into that Mew. Um, and hopefully we can force some sort of stalemate or even just set up in his face for an extended period of time here. 
I do think a Draco Meteor is going to absolutely rock my world, but if I can weather it and uh, click the, re the roost at the right time, it might work out okay. He says the RNGs are not my favor with the uh, with the poison and then the uh, play rough miss. That play rough miss might have actually really mattered, although he would have just gone for rest earlier probably, but I could have prevented him from getting a few of those iron defenses up, which are really going to be a problem here for my uh, Mew. I'm going to go for the Dragon Dance. I believe... Let's see, I switched out, I Dragon Dance. He does wake up, okay. And he's going to drop the Sludge Bomb. Hopefully that doesn't get the poison. That would be super unfortunate. Wow. That is so ridiculous. Good thing I have the Lum. Um, still, I'm very frustrated with that. Uh, but it does give him the poison, which is really nice. So here... I'm debating between going for the Roost and the um, the Dragon Dance again. I think seeing that Sludge Bomb damage, my move is probably to go for the Roost, but again, he can just keep Sludge Bombing and then drop the Draco whenever he wants. He withdraws the Goo Girl. Okay, interesting. Goes out into Pippi, which is the Pelipper. Okay, cool. So we were able to shut that down, which is really nice. Here, I am definitely thinking that he's going to want to go into something like the Crawdaw. Crawdaw is a huge threat here. Could also go into the Seismitoad. Um, if I get one more Dragon Dance up, I should be able to outspeed that though. My biggest fear here is that Adaptability, Crawdaunt taking me out, it might be Choice Band, might be Life Orbed, other options too, such as Focus Sash. Here I am uh, pretty set in just pressing the Drain Punch. A Hurricane is kind of annoying, but at the same time, I really do think that he's going to want to U-turn out into something. So here I'm just going to click the Drain Punch, like I said. We do get a little bit of damage off on that. Let's see go for here. The U-turn? Yep, he does U-turn out. Um, we just made a huge misplay there. We should have gone for the Psychic Fangs, probably, or just straight switched. But here, if he does go out into the Crawdon, he is likely going to be forced to go for a Aqua Jet. Um, which might be able to KO me from the amount of HP I'm at right now. Does make me tempted to just sack off the Mimikyu at this point. Um, we are over halfway through this battle. He goes into Thorn in my whatever. Okay, interesting, interesting. Here what I'm going to do is... I'm going to set up another Dragon Dance, I think. He might feel like setting his Leech Seed. Oh, what is my other option here? I really don't have much of another option. Um, in my mock battles, I was able to 1v1 this mon uh, okay once I got two Dragon Dances up, so I'm really hoping that uh, continues to be the situation here. We'll see what he decides to go for. It is the Leech Seed. Of course he lands his Leech Seed. Not that it should be a miss by any means, I'm just saying, like, of course, right? Anyhow, he will get the Leech Seed Recovery. Um, I'm considering whether he wants to click Protect here. But I think the safest thing to do is to just go for a Drain Punch here. I really do need some HP Recovery. Okay, he does not go for the Protect, which is nice. And I'm able to do about half of his HP there, a little over half, but once he gets the Leech Seed Recovery, it'll probably look more like half. We get the Iron Barbs. Is he Rocky Helmet? He is Rocky Helmet. He goes for the Stealth Rocks here. Okay. So that is definitely annoying. But we do have the Rotom for this. 
this here situation. Um, and here I do think I am going to go into that Rotom. Because he could decide to click the Protect, he could decide to switch out. And I think my best play is just to go into that Rotom. Try and defog his rocks, um, get a good Volt Switch off hopefully. This game is definitely going to come down to the wire, I can tell already. We are about three quarters of the way through almost already. Mew is going to come back. Let's see what he decides to click. He does withdraw. Okay, cool. So I'm glad we made that play. Out comes the Pippi, which is Pelipper. Annoying for sure, but not the biggest issue in the entire world. As I can just click the Volt Switch here. Um, yeah. I can, I can just click the Volt Switch. Terrakion is not an option at the moment. I do want to defog these rocks to maintain my uh, Terrakion Sash, really. At the same time, I'm really worried about getting that choice chip damage off here. That I'm sorry, not like choice item, but just that really nice chip damage. Oh man. I think I will go for the defog here, even if he wants to go for something like a hurricane. He withdraws the Pippi, goes out into the Seismitoad, I would guess. No, Goo Girl, okay. So we got Goo Girl back in here. This annoyance of Mon, I'm pretty sure it's gonna get its hydration here, which is annoying. Hydration will heal its poison. Tell me it's hydration. It's not hydration. Okay, so it is gooey. Or Sap Sipper, perhaps. Sap Sipper does make a lot of sense on his team to uh, try and come in and take those hits for Seismitoad. Here, I think the move... Oh man, I do really think that he's gonna go for an Iron Defense. Wish I had something, I don't know, he's poisoned anyway, so it wouldn't matter if I had a status move here. Um, I am considering just coming in with the Hydreigon here and dropping the Draco. I'm pretty worried about the Draco Meteor of his own, obviously. But at the same time, I do have the Assault Vest. Oh man, I'm so terrified. And man, if I do click the Draco, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose my special attack stat. So we Volt Switch here. I am, I am gonna go into the, to the Hydreigon. on it. has to be done, I think. He says, wow, this is such an exciting battle so far. I have to say, I think it is, honestly. I agree. I swear if he gets the poison again. Okay, he does not get the poison again. That's really nice. So here he has to make a decision. Is he going to go for the rest, or is he going to let me drop a Draco on him? Um, conversely, I can just click the U-turn here, which I almost am thinking about doing. I really do see the Ferrothorn coming in here. How many more? Uh, he has one more turn of rain. That's what's guaranteed to him. So. I am thinking about just clicking the U-turn out into Mimikyu. That's what I'm going to do here. He does decide to stay in. I'm going to click the U-turn. We don't see the GUI, so we know that he is Sap Sipper for sure. Out comes the Mimikyu. He might just go for another Sludge Bomb because he's been getting some clutch poisons. I don't know, or maybe he thinks I'm going to go back into Mew. He does drop the Draco. Okay, so that's what I was expecting. Perfect. The rain does end there. Gets his lefties. It's going to be negated by the poison damage. I also get damage from poison. Okay, so he is down to about the 50% range. I think here 
I can just opt to go for the play rough. I am a uh, Jolly Max Attack, I believe. So this play rough should do a really good amount of damage if he decides to go out into the Pharaoh. That is a choice that he can make. At the same time, I'm also thinking maybe I just switch out, expecting the Pharaoh or the Pelipper. Um, man. Pelipper is probably the best decision here, but I think Rapidash is a good option here. We'll see if he decides to go for the Iron Defense, but I am going to switch out into Rapidash, predicting his switch. So out comes Mimikyu, in goes Rapidash. The game is down to the wire right now, guys. This is insane. He does decide to withdraw. Oh my god, that is a clutch decision on my part, I think. Okay, so out comes the Pelipper. Here, I'm going to click the Wild Charge. Seismitoad probably has the option to sweep my team at this point. Let's see. Uh, Rotom can be a thorn in his side to some degree. And Terrakion is still around with the Focus Sash. He knows I have the Wild Charge, I'm sure of that. Like, he's a smart player. He's aware that I have Wild Charge. Oh man, okay, so here I think I am going to click that wild charge. He withdraws and goes out into the seismitoad. He does go out into the seismitoad, okay. So that is scary, I was worried about this for sure. Wild charge is not going to be able to do anything. Alright, so we are in a little bit of a pickle here for sure. Um... Don't know what kind of set he's packing. Don't really think it's a water absorbed set. Looks like a rain team, so I'm gonna predict the Swift, Swift Swim for sure. I don't know if he wants to go for the ground or the water type attack necessarily. I'm really not sure on that. And the battle is pretty close to over here. He decides to go for the poison jab. That's a great predict on his part. This is probably life orb. It is not, but it does snag the poison, which is super annoying. Okay, Frogger is life orb. Yep, okay. Come on, knock me out. I want to be knocked out right now. Okay, so here he has to go for the water or the ground type attack. I have to go into Hydreigon. Uh, that is going to be GG, unfortunately, guys. I am going to lose this one in a 6-6, I'm pretty sure. As he goes for a liquidation, we will resist that. I doubt that the uh, recoil damage from Life Orb brings him down to a point where we have won this battle, but we can always hope. And here, I am just going to click the Draco Meteor. Uh, that's a good game to Mr. Fish. I'm pretty salty about it, to be frank. Uh, I do think I had all the tools to beat his team if I could have outlasted the rain there, but... Um, I'm not going to feel too bad about a 6-6 loss, honestly, so... Good game to him. The Seattle Marinis are now 3-1, uh, and one, unfortunately, but I think we'll bounce back next week for sure. I, I think I played pretty well. I made a misplay with the Drain Punch against the Pelipper. I should have just gone for the Psychic Fangs, but... Uh, at the same time, I think we had everything we needed to win. It just didn't quite come to being able to be executed, especially with the time constraint we were with. So, anyhow, good game to Jonathan, and I will catch you guys all next time. Thanks for watching.